Hello, my name is Jörg and welcome to CoachRed.net. In the first video, we created our Zeno database and our first API endpoint. In this video, we will connect that API endpoint to AppGyver and list the to-dos. In AppGyver, I created a new project called Zeno underscore to-do. We want to connect the API endpoint. First, we go into the data section. Here, we add a data resource of the type REST API direct integration. Everything we need to fill out these fields we find in Zeno. So let's head back over there to the API. Usually I named the resource ID the same like the API endpoint, in this case to do. The next information that we need is the endpoint URL. So I simply copy that to the clipboard and head over to AppGyver. So the resource ID is to do and the resource URL, I simply paste what I copied from Zeno. That's it for the base configuration. So now to the get collection. That's what I want to configure now. Since I don't have any input parameters, I go straight into testing and run the test. And voila, we have exactly the information, the list that we also saw in Zeno. Perfect. Now, and that is fairly important, I set the schema from the response and I have the columns from the database created at done ID and text. Next, I head over to the variable section here to the data variables and I am creating a new data variable to do. That's the only one we have. The name to do one is fine and this represents the collection of data records. With that, everything is prepared to configure our user interface. So the headline should say something like my to-do list. The paragraph I don't need. What I want instead is the checkbox field. So I drag that in. This gets repeated with the newly created data variable. So I go on to data and variables, data variable, and there is my to do one. The label should contain the text of the to do. I click on the ABC square with the label and here I go into the data item in repeat. Here the current and the current text. Since this is repeating, I always get the current text of the data record that I receive from Xano. The preview value gets uh, deleted because I want to rather see the repeated current text, the definition. Now to the checkbox, same thing. I go to data item in repeat, current, and here I want the done field. That's the other field that I get from the database. That's it. So save it and head over to the AppGyver preview app. Great. And here we have both of the to do's from our Zeno database in our AppGyver app. In the next video, we will learn how to create a new to do. See you there.